Hey guys, it's James here, and I'm joined with J Ray Games. Jay Lynn from J Ray Games. Oh, yeah. And today we are doing a gameplay video. Um, and the game we're going to play today is Hello Neighbor, which is a pretty scary game, pretty well, fun it's game. It's scary for kids, kids like me. It's scary for her. Not and so I much for me, play. but it's it's a good time. And we're going to get it going in VR. So stay tuned, you don't want to miss this one. Okay, so we're back and we are going to be playing Hello Neighbor today. And really, this is probably going to just be a short video because uh, I'm just going to show you how to get it working, how to set it up. And how to have fun with this game and she's gonna be the victim she's gonna have to play it so yeah it should be good Face, times facing my fear facing her fears of the neighbor so we have trinus working as usual and if you haven't seen the other videos watch them learn how to set this up because it is awesome uh, by the way been away for a little bit hoping to make a bunch more videos soon i might just make a bunch and you know one after another but uh, anyways We'll start with this one. So we got Trinus running. Uh, just as you can already tell, the headset is calibrated and it is connected. So that's all good to go. And we have Hello Neighbor installed. And what I'm doing is using Vorpix to make this work. All right. So if you remember from another video, we're going to install Vorpix. We're going to configure Vorpix. So I have Vorpix running here. And what I do for all the games, even though Vorpix is pretty good at um, figuring it out that it's running on its own, I create a shortcut for all games. So if we right click, I go create shortcut, desktop shortcut, find the EXE, which it creates right here. And now it should be good to play. One other thing, the, I've kind of converted a bit because in my other videos I said, oh, you got to have a controller of some sort, and I was using a PlayStation 4 controller. I still like using my PlayStation 4 controller. I just find that with an Xbox controller, everything just works right away. I don't have to do any mapping of the keys or whatever. It just works. So I'm going to hand that to her. She's going to get ready to play. Now, um... With Vorpix, things are just going to work. Um, I didn't really have to bring down my settings too much for this. Uh, the game just worked really nicely uh, right off the bat. Some people ask me, do I have a super fast computer? No, my computer is not anything special. But, um, you know, it's, it's running these games pretty well. So, anyways, I'm going to give her the headset. You're probably going to see just the grid right now, right? I'm scared, yes. Is it clear? So, so this is a pretty creepy game. If you haven't played it before, you're basically trying to break into your neighbor's house to find out all of his secrets. And um, in VR, it's even more scarier because, you know, you have to actually look around with your head. Um, and, uh, yeah. I use the controller, and I think you have to use the controller just to refine your view and also to move around and, and all the other buttons that you're going to need. So, controller works great. So, here we go. You ready? So you're going to see that Steam takes over. Uh, Vorpix is now running it in uh, in 3D oh here. Gosh. Okay, so press the B button. And you will see that she is going to be controlling oh all of her head movements. How do you run? With her heads. Hold this L, L2 button. L2. Alright, so you can see that she's using her head to look around the street, to look around the neighborhood in this case. And uh, it's working perfectly. Why don't you go and uh, check out his house? I'm so scared. Okay. We're not going to play for too long here, but just to show you that it does work very well. It does the head tracking nicely. Yeah, she can look around and um, with the controller, she's able to fine tune her, her controls just so uh, it feels right. Is there any like binoculars? No. I feel like I'm gonna. I think this is Alpha Two. So, by the way, there's three versions of this game. Wait, I think I'm they're working on something. the fourth one. I'm gonna find something to throw. That's okay. Just just go to his house. 
I'm so scared, though. Just go to his house. Who cares? If he catches you, he catches you. All right, but as you can tell, the game works fine. Can you just turn your head side to side just so you can see that it's actually tracking your head? Good. All right. Oh, he locked his door. All right. I can't get in. Well, go to the backyard. Oh, 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 there he is. Run. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so just to show you that this is a, a really awesome um, yo, yo, yo. way to play it. It's way more intense, that's for sure. Do you like it? No. <laughs> you don't like it because you're scared? Is that why? Well, yeah. <laughs> that's why. Cool. I'm sorry, guys, I didn't go in the house. It's just because I have a big fear of this game. Go in there. Just get caught. No. Just get caught. Go. Get right in there. As you can see, it's running really, really nicely. Oh, that's the wall. <laughs> Use your right stick to, to turn and stuff, right? Yeah. There you go. Ooh, she's going to get busted, I can tell. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> no. I'm done. I'm done. So you done? Okay. I'm done. All right. So well, as you can see, I, I it works house, great in VR, and uh, that's the whole point, really, is just to to try it in VR. It's really an intense experience. When I went inside, it my eyes were actually closed. <laughs> oh, that's why you're walking into the wall. You didn't want to see. <laughs> you didn't want to see. <laughs> okay, I was wondering why you're going in the wall. Anyway, so there you go, guys. Uh, it works great. Um, another game that you can play in VR and uh, have some fun with. Um, till next time, thanks for watching. See you again. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want more of this great VR content. Yes. Thanks a lot. Talk to you there.